Okay, 1834. Good luck. Oh, we played once before and we've drawn it. Now that could be in any time control. It could have been one of these rapid games. It probably is actually. 18,000 games for my opponent. And only a handful of games of blitz. Now against this you normally do this and this you normally do this just as a rough guide. you just got to be a little bit careful looking out for the diagonal if you go the other way. Now I do have the option to take as well but I'm going to stick to principles. <clears throat> okay so he's going to cross. I'm just going to castle and make sure it's done. He could grab a pawn. That's what he's gone for. So pawn up is a move. Queen up is a move. How bold do we want to be? Knight up is obviously a move you can trade the bishop. I think queen up. I'm trying to remember now. Um, down here. Down. Trade. 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 Hmm. I'm trying to actually remember here. Hmm. I could just gambit the pawn. That's what I'm debating here. If you come down. I guess we just take it. I'm going to go here first and then just play a queen up. It's very common to gambit a pawn in the Reti opening. Don't mean it's necessarily good, but it's very common to do. So now we're going to come up and just attack the pawn. Try and get our pawn back. Oh, he's allowed us to do that. What is he aiming for queenside castling, I wonder here? That's bald, but he might do it, might he? Hmm. He's probably going kingside, but I'm wondering whether he wants queenside. I expect he's going to castle next. So I'm just looking at simple move, guard one pawn with another. Bishop down, I just take right now. So I'm going here. Watch out for an attack to the queen so I can drop back. Otherwise, I think I can just develop. Am I missing anything? I don't see it, so I'm just going to develop. Then I'm wondering what to do with this pawn could just go up one, I can go up two, I can go up one or two potentially with this one at the right moment. Knight up, I've got to be careful about getting my queen trapped though, so I want to make sure the queen can run. So you're kind of pushing me into that. So we could potentially play queen up here. If you take a tick, you move the knight, I can take a pawn. We drop back somewhere, you get my pawn. It really mix it up. It's probably a bit bold though. Hmm. I'm just going to drop the queen back because you can't just castle because you're going to checkmate. So, yeah, he is going queenside. I had a feeling he might want to do that. That's what he's doing. So, how am I going to move like knight up here? Do I let him castle first, then knight up and trade? Do I play knight up or bishop up? Does it matter? Knight up or bishop up? Bishop up's a bit more forcing. It forces the dark square bishop off. I think I like the look of that, actually. I'm going to go bishop up and develop my knight. Actually, I shouldn't pre-move. I know I'm a minute and a half down already. He's played it really, really quick. But I just want to get the knight developed in a way that I can come forward. Like I said, I'm expecting him to go this way. He's going really, really bold, isn't he, though? Wow. Hmm. Okay. I think I need to really chant this and say what you're going to do with your king because it's awkward to go anywhere now. You might have to manually castle king side. So I want to try and challenge this whole setup. Okay, I'm going to take there and see how he does it. Now I think I'm going to just play knight up here and maybe get forward. Again, I'm always trying to keep an eye on this because he could sack first and try and get bishop up. Right now the bishop would hang, but if you get it protected, danger alert. He's just got to get his king safe somewhere. So knight down, what's the threat? Knight in, I'm not sure. Um, so is knight up a simplifying move? I'm not sure I want to simplify it. A knight up there is probably good. Hold on, has he just blundered it? Has he just dropped a clean blunder here with e4? There's no obvious checks or captures, so now I'm looking at e4. Why is that not just a blunder? What am I missing here? Is there some sort of tactic? I don't see it, so I'm going to play e4. It looks like a piece to me. 
so I'm just going to play it. If I'm blundering, I'm blundering. You can only play what you see. But I don't see a quick knockout attack to the queen here. I just simply take, or even with the queen. So it looks like a mistake, if not a blunder. We all do them, of course. Everybody blunders. It's just a case of when, who, against, how badly. And whether the game is still salvageable or not. We played it really quickly out of the opening, though. He's like two minutes up on the clock. You don't want to play it too quickly. So he has come forward. So he's created a serious actual threat there. So has he not blundered after all? He's threatening to come in and take my queen. Mm. So if I take... He takes here. Now I've got queen across. I have to actually take there. He hadn't blundered, had he? I've got queen across, though, and he's got bishop back. Hmm. So I think I'm just going to take the pawn then. Hold on, but take, take, take. A pawn's still a pawn. I don't think I'm blundering here. If he takes here, I've got the option to take the light squared bishop, which makes sense to me. I'm going to go for this one and try and open the king up and get checks in. We still attack this bishop. Okay, he's gone back. So now I think I can just drop back or cross, hit the knight and threaten to take. If I go here, I'm hitting this pawn as well as the knight. So we've got a bit of time. We've used half of our time. We've got a bit left. So I'm looking at that to go here and here. Knight back takes. Castle. Take. I lose my knight. If I go here instead, if you take. <coughs> excuse me. I can take. I hit the rook. I hit the knight. That seems stronger to me. I want to go here to get off this file. Mm, but here creates a double attack. Does it matter then? Here, knight down. I'm just going to go here so the knight can't jump in and attack my queen. But well, he's come forward. Okay. Now I'm going to take. If you take my knight, I'll take your rook. Or I'll take the pawn first. If you take, I'll just trade and take the rook. So I think I'm winning here, subject to not blundering it away with the clock. I think my opponent's just played in a bit too quickly. Just a tad bit too quickly. You've got to try and play at the right speed for whatever time control you're playing. So I can check and collect the rook here and make another queen. I don't think I need to think too much about that. So I'm going to check. Oh, that's a queen with a check. So is that just checkmate now? It looks like it is. I'm just double checking it. That's checkmate. Yeah, opponent just played a little bit too quickly for the time control there. So we get a bit fortunate with that one, but we'll put it through the engine anyway. <clears throat> just 24 moves for that one. So opponent just played that little, little bit too quickly. I think that was a message from the opponent when he just said blip. So I'm assuming he means that he's just made a mistake somewhere. We all blunder. Everybody blunders. Just a case of when, who, against, how badly. So we've played this with a 90% accuracy. Opponent 80%, just the one blunder. So in this position... Yeah, the move B6, as the engine is saying, is the blunder, and we've just been better for the whole rest of the game now. So you can take your time when you're playing through your own games and turn the engine on and off, see what the lines are, what the recommended moves are, just play through. So E4 was correct, knight in was correct, knight takes was correct, taking the pawn was correct, taking the bishop was correct. I'm just, like I say, flicking through these. Now the engine says queen to c4 was correct as well. I was looking at dropping back, like I say, to go both ways, but it's saying that was correct as well. And now it's chopping and changing. It's looking at knight up there, as well as taking the pawn. 
and it's chopping and changing its mind, isn't it? So they're probably both very good moves there, but it looks like it's settled on taking the pawn, correct? And of course, the pawn has just blundered the checkmate near the end. So we get a good win, but good effort by a pawn. Just played a little bit too quickly, I thought, out the opening, but otherwise decent effort.